we're going to talk about some of the cables that you'll commonly see when hooking up your television to other components. I have a chart here with all the different types of cables. Don't worry about memorizing the chart. You can always go to our website at technicallyspeakingtv.com where you'll see the chart and all the other charts that we referred to today. The cables on the chart are listed in order of quality, from the lowest quality to the greatest quality. And we always want to choose the best quality possible for our TVs. The first cable that you're going to see is a coaxial cable. The coaxial cable is very obvious by the point that's sticking out on either end. Coaxial cables are used from the wall where your cable or satellite provider put in an input to your television set and can also be used from the television to the cable box or on older televisions you might be running a coaxial cable from the television to a converter box. Coaxial cables come in all sorts of sizes from the shortest three feet up to 50 feet or more and can even be spliced together by buying additional converters to put them together. But that's our coaxial cable. The next most common cable is the RCA cable, seen here. RCA cables have red, white, and yellow inputs at the end of each side. The yellow ones carry video signal, the white and the red are audio signals. Sometimes on your television or other components you'll see room only for a white and a yellow. The yellow is the video, the white is the audio. We prefer to use two audio cables for stereo, but if there's only one input you can use just the white and you'll be fine. So these are the RCA cables. Another cable that looks similar but in different colors is a component video cable. The ends look a lot like our RCA cables, but of course the colors are completely different. These generally come in blue, red, and green. And just like the name implies, component video cables carry only video. If you're using a component video cable, you'll also have to have some other type of cable that's carrying audio. In some cases, you might be using this for the video to substitute for yellow. And then you use the white and the red as the audio. But this is a better quality video than you'll get from an RCA cable. Another cable that deals primarily with video is the S-video cable. It's a very unique looking cable. If you take a look at the inputs, it's a round end with pins inside. The S-video cable can often be seen on components, on newer televisions, and even on computers. The S-video cable also, like the component video cable, carries only video signals. And finally, most components in televisions today are using HDMI cables. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface Cables. High definition meaning it is the best quality you can get. Multimedia meaning that it is carrying both video and audio. So if you have a new television and a new Blu-ray player, the chances are very good that both will have an HDMI cable. So you simply have to hook the HDMI cable from one to the other and your job is done. So again, the most commonly used cables we have, the coaxial cable, the RCA cable, the component video cable, the S video cable, and the HDMI cable. These are written here in order of quality, so you always want to choose the highest quality possible.